are we doing today, Tom? Going to the shop. Screen printing print shop. Where we print the clothes. Oh, mostly I'm just hungry. Got my Chipotle in the back. So that's what I'm gonna do first. Actually first I'm gonna turn everything on. And then all these yellow parts here, ink can go through that. And so you have a squeegee and then you take the ink, you put it on there, and then the squeegee pushes the ink through onto a shirt or whatever else you're printing. Yeah, see? We didn't print this one. Here's the ink. A lot of people like to call it paint. It's not. Basically, we're just making ink stains on shirts, but like in a pattern. Right? In a controlled fashion. Look at that. Shirt's on. And then, oh, I gotta, gotta make some adjustments here. That's the adjustment you needed. Okay. Oh, not that one. Operator error. We don't really make anything. We're what's called garment decorators. So we take a garment that some other manufacturer produced, and then we put decorations on it. It's Christmas lights. <laughs> little manger scene. Just kidding. What we make here mostly is a mess. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What? It's freaky and freaky. <laughs> this is an expandable waffle container. Expandable waffle container? Yeah. So you open it up, you can expand it, you can put uh, the egos in there. <laughs> I, never even I finally found it at Goodwill. Got it for like two bucks and sold it for ten within a week. Wow. My name is Ryan. I'm a human. Tom and I are both the co-owners of Convicted Printing and Integrity Advertising Works. My primary thing that I'm over is pretty much the dark room and prep and embroidery. Whereas Tom does more of like the actual printing products. I do more of the embroidering products type of thing. Look at that. Would you look at it? Look at it. Boom. There you go. T-shirt. Not really because it's a test print shirt. Not really. But actually, I kind of like this color combo, Ryan. What do you do here? Um, mostly cry. Why are there so many of these, man? Wait, what? Shirts? What does this mean? You're probably just start swapping out my closets. My goal is to attempt to make pretty much the same outfit to wear every day. <laughs> so that I don't pick outfits. I just wear the clothes. 
I like this design. I like what it stands for. I like what it means. And I like that it, I've, we've gotten plenty of compliments on that design. So there's that too. Did you order any for me? Oh, how many do you need? For me? One hoodie, one long sleeve, four t-shirts. The rest are not me. What else, who else are these for? So what we're printing here is some shirts for our I Am Convicted line. The I Am Convicted line is like, basically like raising funding and awareness for what our like vision is as a business, which is to create a reintegration program for human trafficking victims, like ex-human trafficking victims, like survivors. Well, take the hoodie up. It says, break the chain. We're referring to the chain of human slavery, like human trafficking. So we want to break that chain and cycle. Really the hope is to kind of like, create jobs and opportunities um, you know, for people participating or trying to, you know, rebuild their lives, you know, doing the reintegration process. That's kind of the concept. Love the internet. It's so helpful. It's going to Pennsylvania. Don't even know the person. It's awesome. You know what Tom loves? Chipotle. I think the only thing I've ever seen him eat is Chipotle. I don't think he eats anything else. That's my big concern. <laughs> I mean, he could eat a lot worse stuff. It's not that. Is there anything about he eats? Affordable. Delicious. <laughs> but not too delicious. Not too affordable. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to be safe. Not too affordable. I don't want to be like, oh, look at all this money I have. What do I do with it? Oh, I got shoes and cars and stupid shit. And here we see a lion in his natural habitat at this imprint shop. Look how he stands there to drink his water. I think live comfortably is determined by a person's perspective. Do I plan on buying a Mercedes or something really nice car-wise? No, I have no need. It's not like it's gonna help me deliver shirts better <laughs> than a Honda Civic or Toyota Corolla. No problem. Ocean. It's okay, they're only worried about employees, not CEOs. I think that's probably the case. Vision casting. That's the other one. What? Vision casting. You asked for strengths earlier. I forgot about that one. Are you doing the same system thing? Yeah. Why? We didn't say the system as well. Is them just writing on these random? For right papers? now, do I like doing it? Absolutely. I really do enjoy being able to run a business and help empower, and I want to see what happens in the in the future. And I think that this is a strength for me, and I want to do it. It's a dream for me. It is. What else am I supposed to do? 
Do you want me to I want to help others, and I think God put that on my heart, and so that's what I'm trying to do. Is Convicted Printing a Christian business? Oh, hell no. Businesses can't be Christian, because they're, they're not living beings. Like, a Christian is somebody who accepts certain tenets of a certain belief system. You can't have a business that is accepting the tenets of a belief system, because it's a business. How are you supposed people are curing these? Uh, probably use a hair dryer. Yeah, we did that. Didn't work. I'm not doing it for myself. If it was a selfish dream, I wouldn't go to hire the people I want to hire. I wouldn't be building my business for that. I wouldn't be trying to hire human trafficking survivors. And I wouldn't hire as many people as I have hired because if it was a selfish dream, I'd probably be wanting to keep as much of the profit as possible. It smells like, it smells like paint. Actually, it is. Not it's ink. Oh my god. I just went over this. Same thing. Three, six, nine, ten. Ten! I jumped over 100 followers today. <laughs> and look at my... That's from after I caught up this morning. Oh, from one video. What'd you say? Alright, TikTok, prove me wrong. If you're watching TikTok right now, you're either on the toilet, laying in bed, sitting on a couch. That's pretty much it, right? Prove me wrong. Alright, TikTok, prove me wrong. If you're watching TikTok... <laughs> Well, yeah, a lot of people love proof, and a lot of people have duetted me, and they show the video of where they are, and like all this stuff, and I get tagged in all of those, and so my viewership is up over it. Over 80, probably over 90% of our business has been due to all the connection we've made through social media, specifically Facebook for convicted printing. So, I know what to do now. Prove me wrong. That's how you start this up. Good grief. This is going to be difficult to keep up. Challenge people perception of themselves. People want to know who you are. Not true. Not me. I'm an individual. <laughs> so if people are finding you on social media, they're going to see who you are as a person, and then they might really want to work with you. And I think it's important to be different, be your own self, because if you're interested in certain things, genuinely, you might find other people, other clients that are genuinely interested in those things. You gotta stereotype me into the stereotype so we all fit into it. <laughs> uh, I think it's really important to be on social media, uh, even if you don't do the personal th side, the business side, who are you, what's your brand, what's your story, how are people supposed to know unless like, they're seeing it in their feeds, and then when people follow you, they're going to think of you more frequently. I'm watching this video because an algorithm has already stereotyped me, but I am not a stereotype. It's a huge proponent of, um, of being in a business now to be on the different social medias and adapt as you need to there. Like, I don't think we would be where we are if we didn't do that. And I think we could do even more and more and more. I don't think we're doing enough. Like, I always think we do better with that. Uh, uh, I would not be stereotyped. All right, see you there. See you back here. Do you think he's on social media too much? I don't know. I think we're all on social media too much. How can you quantify that, though? Are you going to be one of those people that's like, you needed to go fishing more? No, it's more that, like, humans, to my estimation, have two minds. One is their, their private mind, where they can consider their own ideas and notions and consider objectively without the input of others. And then we have a social mind where we're concerned with the input of others and the thoughts of others and whatnot. And throughout most of history, uh, humans have 
had the opportunity to disengage from the social sphere for a while, consider their own thoughts, and then go back into the social mind. But I feel like with social media, it's like, especially with having phones and everything, we're always readily present to the like social consideration of others. <clears throat> We're always mindful of, oh, how is this going to be, how can I be perceived this moment by others? I think like the private space for the human is where they're able to like reflect objectively and really consider ideas and, and whatnot and not have to worry about what others think about their private thoughts. But now it's almost like, oh, I have my private thought. I need to share it. And then that private thought is always, always shifted and determined by, oh, how is this going to be perceived when I put it on social media? So you're really never having your own private thoughts. They're always in readily considered for the social space. I guess, I don't know. I feel like a, a positive about that is that people are now thinking about what others will think, say, feel, whatever. It can be a crippling thing if people take it too far, like cancel culture and everything. Where it's like, oh God, if I don't say the the current correct thing, and if you forget, like, oh goodness. But the positive, I think, is thinking of others in their perception versus just your own. I don't know. I don't think it has really had an effect of broadening, oh, this is what others think. Especially since social media operates on putting in your feed what you want to see. It's operated to create f factionalized hive mind behavior. Social media wouldn't be a problem if people used it like, you know, social gatherings. Unfortunately, social media engineers have created it such that you're getting push notifications to reel you back in mm -hmm. all the time. I think that social media, like you said, does have mechanisms for positive change. But if you don't take time for yourself individually of your own accord and your own responsibility to pull away and have your own private abstract thoughts away from social media, then you're going to be operating in that social mind all the time, which is not necessarily the best mind for processing the more like uh, abstract conceptual thoughts. So it's not a quantifiable thing. It's more of a, the so social media has almost taken away the opportunity for private consideration of ideas and concepts and things. Did you decorate this office? No. God, no. Speak and pause. Speak and pause. <coughs> <laughs> What's the most annoying thing Ryan does? Uh, when he goes on like a string of really, really, really bad dad jokes. It's probably it's fun. Yeah. Only because I love you so much. Oh my god. I want to share my joy with oh, you. Oh no, I don't want to. I don't want to. It's not joyous. Does Tom get on your nerves? Of course. As does every human. <laughs> and let me clarify that. What did we get done today? Ah, uh, I've got some shirts printed. We got stuff around. That was pretty much it. How many shirts? Nine. Nine shirts. Nine and shirts. And How many you usually print? A lot more in there. Are you done printing? Yep. Oh. Could you go hit the red button on the conveyor drive? And it should light up red. <laughs>